Hello guys, and welcome to this installment of A Computers and Technology. For a long time, I've been talking about adding a wind power aspect to my current experimental renewable energy system. Outside, I have two 50-watt solar panels running to a small off-grid system inside. Now, in the future, I do plan on eventually hooking up a low-powered server uh, to host the website, but once again, that is to be implemented in the future. But since it is winter and my panels are getting less sunlight than they usually do in the summer, I thought it would be a good excuse to go ahead and build out a small wind turbine system to add to my current renewable energy system. So, a lot went wrong with this project, most of the problems were my doing, and I'll talk about all the issues I ran into at the end of this video. So I started out by building the bearing setup for the turbines. Now the turbines themselves were pre-built, they were a homebrew kit that I bought off eBay for 89 bucks. Some guy uh, puts these together on his free time, and honestly, while these uh, wind turbines are okay, I kind of wish I went with a legitimate pre-built solution. And by the way, if you want to check out any of the parts I used, all the links will be down in the description. So for the bearings, I used two 3-inch Lazy Susan turntable bearings I bought off Amazon for 5 bucks. These worked, but they are a bit flimsy. I managed to bend one while I was working uh, on the turbines, and as a result, the right turbine no longer turns as freely as the left turbine does, so that was kind of a disappointment. If you're going to do a project like this, go with stronger, stronger bearings. I kind of cheaped out on the bearings, and I regret that. Um, to solve the issue with directional rotation of the wind turbines and the wires inside the pipes, I used a three-wire slip ring that I bought off Amazon for 15 bucks, and this allows the uh, wind turbine to rotate freely without twisting up the wires inside the pipe. The supporting structure is nothing special, it's just a series of three quarter inch steel pipes linked together and reinforced with some JB weld. Unfortunately, the steel pipe selection at Home Depot was lacking, um, so I could not manage to find a complete set of galvanized steel pipes. As you can see, two of the pipes are not galvanized, um, but they've been holding up just fine. I might go back and climb up and repaint those with some spray paint or something like that if they start to rust too badly. But for now, the non-galvanized steel pipes are still faring pretty well outside in the elements. I added a pair of MC4 connectors to the ends of the wires coming out from the wind turbine so I could easily plug the wind turbines into my existing PV setup. Finally, I mounted the blades onto the motors, double checked the electrical connections using my multimeter, and brought the structure outside to be mounted to a post using steel brackets and a lot of JB weld. You know, I really wish I had an arc welder for this project, but unfortunately, that just wasn't in my budget. In 50 mile per hour wind gusts, as seen here, the turbines combined produce about 2.5 amps at 14 volts. Now I am considering adding a buck converter to the setup just because the span of wire running from the turbines into the system which I have inside my house is pretty long and there is a voltage drop across that. By the time it gets into the house, it drops from 14 volts to around 11 to 12 volts, so I definitely uh, want that to be stepped up a little bit. Another issue I ran into was with the nuts and bolts. I didn't think to apply any sort of of adhesive to the nuts and bolts. I thought the natural friction um, from the tension that I applied when tightening the nuts and bolts would keep them in place. This is a moving system. I was wrong. Uh, the vibrations from the wind turbine rotating actually shook some of the nuts and bolts loose and they came out. Uh, no harm done because they weren't critical. I went up on a step ladder, put them back in, and everything was okay, but after that I applied adhesive to every single nut and bolt on this build. So now everything is finally secure. I didn't realize I would need to do that when I was building this. Uh, obviously you guys can tell I'm not the most uh, mechanically inclined person, 
Uh, but that has been taken care of, and it's been two weeks in right now. It's taken me a really long time to make this video, uh, and the system is still chugging along just fine. I ordered some parts um, for that buck converter setup that I was talking about earlier, and those should be in within the next week. As you guys can tell, this is still a work in progress. I'm going to be making continuous improvements to the setup and learning new things as time goes on. It's nowhere near perfect right now. I'm probably going to run into issues down the road, and of course, I will keep you guys updated on those. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to support me. You can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon page. All those links will be down in the description as well. And if you have any improvements as far as this system is concerned, uh, feel free to leave your suggestions down below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.